It's not about luck. So you're saying, I know it takes money to make money, but you also got to have knowledge to make money. Hey guys, today we're going to learn how in MQL you can set trading periods. So your trading only happens between a certain hour in the morning until a certain hour in the evening. And outside of those trading hours, your EA doesn't work. So, and you will be able to ask your user to provide a value, which is at what time do they want to start the trading and at what time do they want to end the trading. And then when you will run your EA on, on the server, it will only open up trades during the time that you have specified and outside of that time it will remain inactive so let's get to it in the mql how to folder i'm going to create an expert advisor and i'm going to call it trading periods here we have our template and i'll clean it up so that we only have the initialization function the deinitialization function and the on tick function now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable type and within that variable type we will allocate how many different types of variables there can be you do that in mql by using the function enum so you're defining a variable type and i'm calling it trading hour and i'm providing 25 different values in it which the user can select within these brackets so the first one is inactive which i'm assigning a value of zero so if the user selects inactive then the value of the variable is zero and then 100 hours, 200 hours, 300 hours, 400 hours, and I'm assigning them the value of one, two, three, four, uh, as um, in respect to the number of hours there are in a day. And I go until 2300 hours. Once we have this variable type available to us, I can create two variables, and I'm calling them start hour and end hour. And this is where I'm asking the user to provide the input. By using the variable type that we have defined here as trading hours, I'm defining these variables start and end hour. Now, if I compile it and go to MetaTrader, I will see that the input tabs, these two variables have, start, have appeared, and now the user can define they want it from 700 hours in the morning until 800, uh, 2800 hours in the evening. So now we have defined these two variables. Now on init, this is just my own personal preference I don't like to see grid grid lines on the chart, so I'm setting them to false here in initialization. It's just my own preference. Now, when we come to on tick, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an MQL date time variable, and I'm going to call this variable time. Then I'm going to copy the value of the time now by using the function time current, which gives me the value of what is the time right now. And I'm copying that into the variable time that I've created here using the function time to structure. And this basically gives me the ability to then go by and, and then go and create a variable which i'm going to call hour now and i'll say that this is equals to the time and then hour which basically means that now hour now has the hour of this minute so if it is 2 13 in the morning then the hour number is two now i have everything i need so i can start checking for conditions and here I'm saying that if the now, if the hour now, the time now, or the hour right now, is less than the start hour, which is the user input of what's the start hour of the trading period. If it is less than that, then it's before the trading period, so return, meaning exit the function. Don't do anything else, just exit. Then if, if the hour is not less than the start hour, which means it's bigger than the start hour, so the system will continue. And then we say, if the hour now is more than or equals to the end hour, meaning the trading period has finished, then do exactly the same thing, which is return. Exit the function, don't do anything else. So any code here are going to be run only if the if the hour right now is in between the start hour and end hour, which is the trading period that we have defined. So this is the entire coding process. Whatever you will write here, and this is where your code will go. So it, it, these codes will be run only during the trading period that the user has defined here. Now, as an example, what I can say is that if it is during the trading period defined by the user, so it's not outside, so it's not less than the start hour and it's bigger than it's not bigger than the end hour, it's in between, then what what I want the system to do is change the, the color of the background to black and then display a text uh, saying trading is enabled. Now I'm creating a function here. I'm calling a function here. So I need to create this function as well. Guys, this is just to show you an example of what can go here. So what I'm saying is if it is in the trading period, 
then set the background to black and then display a text by sending the value color white to this function and trading enabled to this function. And this function I'm creating uh, using object create a level and then giving it the value of the text that I'm sending from here to here. So when this function will be called in the trading period, it will say it will say in white color that the trading is enabled. Then to contrast it, what I can do is I can come here and I can go, well, if it is less than the start hour, meaning it's outside of the trading period, then I want the color to be white, the background color, and I want in red to say trading is disabled. And this I can then copy paste here as well, which is if the hour is less than the start hour, or if it's bigger than the end hour, meaning it's outside of our trading period, then set the color of the background to white and say in red color that the trading is disabled. And if it is inside the trading period defined by the user, then set the color to black for the background and say in white color that the trading is enabled. Let's compile it. We don't have any errors. So now if I go to MetaTrader and start uh, and select a start period and an end period and run, then I should see, well, now the trading is disabled. After our trading period started, it is enabled. The color of the background has changed to black. And once we exit, it goes back to trading is disabled and it's white. So to sum up once again, once you have created these variables, then the only thing you need is these three functions or these two functions where you say if the start hour is less than the, or if the trading hasn't begun, then what to do if the trading has, or the time has exceeded the trading uh, period allowed, then what to do? And then in the, in the third case, finally, if the none of the above is true, then it basically means the time is in between the trading period. So then you run your actual codes here. So I hope this helps. Uh, let me know in the comments if something is unclear. I'll make a separate video on explaining this displaying text, but this was just to show you an example of how this can all work. So until next time guys, stay safe, trade safe, leave a comment, hit subscribe, Press the bell notification so that you don't miss anything and I'll be coming back with more videos. Ciao.